Hello, I'm Charlotte, and today is all about the treats taking everyone by storm, the whoopie pie. These are essentially mini sponges sandwiched together with a sweet, fluffy icing. It's their unique taste, which is why they are being hailed as the new cupcake on the market. They are incredibly easy to make and perfect for getting all the family involved. I'm going to show you how to whip them up in less than 20 minutes. Let's take a look at what we'll need. A box of Betty's chocolate and vanilla whoopie pie mix, 70 millilitres of water, 30 millilitres of vegetable oil, one medium sized egg and for the filling 70 millilitres of milk. Start by preheating your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or if like me you have a fan oven 160. Take your chocolate and vanilla whoopie pie mix we're going to leave the filling until later. Snip open the packet. Empty the contents into your mixing bowl. I'm going to add our water. Our vegetable oil. And our medium sized egg. Just mix it into a nice smooth paste. Now, some of you may not know that whoopie pies originate from Pennsylvania in the United States, where they're a traditional Amish treat. The wives of the working husbands would slip a whoopie pie into their husband's lunch boxes so they had a treat for later on. It's rumoured that when the husbands found this treat, they would yell, whoopie! Hence the name. So, once your mixture looks fully blended, You'll need to line two baking trays with baking paper. Here's our first one. I'd recommend using about 10 teaspoons of whoopie mixture, leaving a decent gap between each one so they don't stick together. Don't worry about them looking too neat as it won't affect the baking. Okay, so when your whoopie pies are all in place, we're just going to pop them in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes. So when the time's up, we just need to get our whoopie pies out. Now we need to check to make sure they're cooked all the way through. There's an easy way to do that, and that's by touching the middle of each pie with the tip of your finger. If it springs back, it's cooked. You can also do it with a cocktail stick. If you just push it gently into the middle, if it comes out clean, then your whoopie pie is cooked. So while our whoopie pies are still warm, we're going to make a start on our fluffy filling. So we're going to mix the contents in our bowl with the milk. If you've got an electric whisk, now's the time to use it. If not, no problem. We're going to hand whisk for three minutes. So what you're looking to achieve is a thick consistency like you see here. Once you have that, all that's left to do is to spread a little onto a whoopee base and sandwich it together with another whoopee. It's worth mentioning at this point that Betty has one other variety of whoopee that you can make and that's double chocolate which is perfect for all you chocolate lovers out there. So there you have it, Betty Crocker's chocolate and vanilla whoopee pies. Perfect as a gift or with your mid-morning coffee. But be warned, these won't hang around for long. Mm -hmm.